It's 18 o'clock, it's time for dinner, and it's time for Lake News. At the microphone, Florian Game live from the studio of Wave 20 at Lake Constance. Today's show, we are looking on the opening ceremony of the committees. We spoke with the chairs of the Human Rights Council and the Security Council, and we are also looking into the future, the program of Lake New Moon in the next three days. This is Lake News. After the formal greetings, the first part of the conference was opened. The topic of the Lake Moon Conference is areas of limited statehood. The Security Council will try to come to a conclusion on the possible support mission for a state with areas of limited statehood. Now the chair of the Security Council, Vanessa Meyer, will tell us more. The topic in front of the Security Council is areas of limited statehood. It is a topic that has been addressed by the Security Council several times, but still needs to be readdressed. The delegates of the Security Council are concerned with the situation in Somalia, Sudan, South Sudan and Ethiopia. It is an especially challenging topic because in areas of limited statehood, who are delegates supposed to talk to? Governments are often not in power and cannot be negotiated with. But the consequences of lacking authority are felt by the whole international community. Consequences as terrorism, piracy, and instability can deeply affect the whole international community and therefore desperately need to be addressed. This is a task of our delegates of the Security Council at this conference. After introducing the Security Council, we will now go further to the second committee. This is the Human Rights Council, and the Human Rights Council shall try to find a way of protecting civilians from violations of human rights within these states. Tim Fahrendorf, the chair of the Human Rights Council, will briefly summarize the most important facts of today's conference. Yeah, uh, welcome everybody. Um, the Human Rights Council is especially concerned about states uh, or areas with uh, limited statehood as in those areas uh, human rights violations are most severe and cannot be easily controlled. Therefore, uh, at the moment, the discussion uh, reaches from uh, finding a legal framework for dealing with such situations or um, is dealing with the question uh, what should be done, which kind of intervention should be uh, carried out if there's a case of human rights violations in those areas. And uh, especially in, um, at this point, uh, we are discussing if uh, interventions should be with armed forces or by other means, uh, which is, um, as usual, the uh, most crucial point, as many states uh, strongly point to state sovereignty or sovereignty of the areas in this case and other states uh, mean to justify um, armed interventions. After introducing the committees, we will take a short look into the future. Lake Moon will continue until Wednesday the 1st of June. Tomorrow, you'll start at 9 o'clock with the conferences. After lunch, there is another conference block that ends at 15 o'clock. After that, we continue with the presentation of the university, and after that, you have the possibility to enjoy our workshops. These are highly interesting discussions with guests from all over the Federal Republic of Germany. After the dinner at the Zeppelin University, you can be part of the movie night, which will be held in the lounge. Here we show you some different movies with political content, which promise a highly interesting night. On Tuesday, we'll start at 9 o'clock again. With the huge conference block, we continue until 18 o'clock. After a barbecue, we are looking forward to enjoy a quite interesting party with you at the Delegates' Prom. On Wednesday, we will come together one last time for a last conference block to lounge. After that, you'll enjoy the closing event with us and then it's time for your departure. So this is a live from the studio of Wave 20 at Lake Constance. This was Lake News with Florian Gim. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your attendance and have a funny get together. I'm looking forward to see you again tomorrow when it's time for Lake News. <laughs>